Yo, what's good with y'all, gang? And gang, finally, man, after a long-awaited, long-requested period, I'm finally giving y'all my official Xbox Garage Tour, gang. Now, real quick, gang, before we get into it, I want to go ahead and let y'all know that my garages aren't in any particular order. Like, I have no organization to any of my garages. None of my garages is set up as far as, like, specific vehicles for specific themes. None of that. I'm too grown for that goofy ass shit, gang. I'm just going to be honest with you. The vehicles that y'all see is completely random. Some of these cars are scattered around all type of witcher ways and stuff like that. And that's just the way I got it, gang. A lot of this stuff, I actually know where they at, know where they be at. I don't really need no themes. And then I know, I know one of the things people love to do in the community is have themes and all that. But for me, I ain't got none of that, gang. And also, brody, this is my Xbox Garage Tour. Y'all do know I have a character over there on PlayStation. So if y'all want to see my PlayStation character garage tour, rather be within the next week or whatever like that, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know by liking the video and I'll definitely get on that. One thing I will say about my PlayStation side is I do feel like the cars over there are way better. It's a lot more modest stuff and it's a lot more newer vehicles over there. One thing about it, I don't really got a lot of the newer cars over here on my Xbox character because once I got over on PlayStation, I kind of just went head over heels and just dove straight into that mostly. That's what majority of my time be it. So more of the newer age cars is over there on the PlayStation. I got a couple of new age cars here and there on this account, but majority of the newer stuff, majority of the modern stuff is definitely over there on the PlayStation account, man. So if y'all do want to see that, let me know in the comment section or let me know by leaving a like on this and I'll definitely give y'all a PlayStation Garage Tour. But for now, you're getting the Xbox one, brody. I really do hope that you appreciate it. I really do hope that you like it. Leave a like. Subscribe if you new. Without further ado, enough of me talking. Let's get into it, gang. All right, gang, man. We're starting off with the CEO garage. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now. I'm going to blow through a lot of these vehicles, man. Because I already recorded this damn video one time. And, man, that recording was well over three hours long. And I didn't want to edit it. And I didn't want y'all to have to sit through a potentially two-hour long movie of me talking about all these different cars. Then, I ain't going to lie to you. I asked the forgot about a couple of garages so if you feel like i'm going a little fast i'm really doing it to just keep down on video time gang all right man so to start this bad boy off brother we got the s95 we got the sterling gt now if y'all don't know bro this car right here was a goddamn bulletproof god mode car a couple of damn dlcs ago so that's one of the main reasons i got this car no cap then we got the Tacoma Coupe. One thing about this car right here is this car is not customized at all. I ended up just getting this car because it was free. I think it was like one of them heist challenge cars we got for like the last Dose DLC or something like that, I think. Next, we got the Terminus. I really do love this vehicle. This is one of my favorite vehicles in the game. Got the model wheels, the all matte. It's just a dope looking car. Then we got the Impala SS or the Impala Impaler SZ. Dope ass car, dope boy vibes, got the Benny wheels on it. I definitely like this car. I drive the crap out of it here and there. I'm driving more than the Terminus, but I do drive it a lot, man. But it's dope. Then we got the Invisus. Now, this car right here, I like this car, but I don't like the colorway. The only reason I'm not going to change the colorway is because I was told not to actually change the colorway on this vehicle, man. So I'm not going to change. Then we got pretty much a brand spanking new car that literally just came out yesterday at the time of this recording, man. I, this car literally came out yesterday. The only thing I can say I hate about this is the fact that Rockstar Games took the half and half, the black half and the white half liveries and made it a GTA Plus thing. You cannot get that livery if you don't got GTA Plus. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get it if you go to like the LS car meet and you buy it from somebody that already got it. But me doing it myself, I can't get the, the half and half. As you can tell, I tried to make it look like ASAP Rocky and Rockstar wasn't going for that shit because they locked it behind GTA Plus. That shit lame as hell. I ain't gonna lie. That shit made me mad. Moving on to Flow B, man. We got the Vapid Care Care 4x4. I really like this vehicle, man. Y'all I know I'm a big type of truck type of dude so I definitely love trucks in real life and SUVs and stuff so you know I had to pick this up. Then we got the Thrax. The Thrax I got a love-hate relationship with this car because I love the front of this vehicle but I hate the back of this vehicle. I really do hate that Rockstar went for this like smushed down design for this. It's so bad to me but it's a love-hate relationship for this vehicle. This vehicle had the potential to be my favorite vehicle in the whole entire game because I love the design of the Devo but Rockstar just fucked it up with that back. I don't know what they was thinking. Then after that, we got the Fist of Growler. Nothing really special. It's just a Fist of Growler. Then we got the Conquest D10, aka the um, Corvette C8. Now, this vehicle, 
I made this vehicle in homage to the late great Young Dolph. If y'all don't know the real, you know, and, um, Young Dolph in real life had a car that looked just like this, except for his. Um, his was black and white, but his was black and white camo. This is the more so like black and white digital, but this is as close as I can do it. So I did this after his passing, which you know was unfortunate or whatever. But if y'all be like, damn, this kind of look like Dolph car, that's the reason why I made it, man. So R.I.P. to the Dolph, long live Dolph. But that's the, you know, the idea, ideology behind this car, man. Definitely a little homage to Young Dog Gang. Then next, we got the Cheetah Classic. Not a car I really drive too much, just something that I picked up. I think this is the better looking vehicle out of all the, like, the classic vehicles between the Cheetah Classic, the Turismo Classic, and the Infernus Classic. I definitely like this one the most, but I don't never really do nothing to it. I don't even know if I customize it. I think I do. I think I did customize it because of the, the stripe down the middle, but I don't even know if I customized this thing. Next, we got the Atali RSX. Nothing really special. You're going to see a lot of red cars in this car, too. I'm just going to let you know now. If you don't know, red my favorite color, so if you be like, damn, you got a lot of red cars, that's why. But the Atali RSX, nothing really crazy. It's an all right vehicle. I don't ever really drive it. Then after that, man, we got the, what is this called? The Cyclone 2? Yeah, the Core Cyclone 2. One of them vehicles that came out with the Xbox Series S and X, aka the Expanded and Enhanced. Something ass, but nothing really insane. I just picked it up because it came out with the what's name. And I think this is like one of the very first HSW vehicles that was ever put in the game when the Xbox Series S and S part came out. No cap. Next on the last floor, brother, we got the, the Class A Yosemite Rancher. And I'm going to tell you something about this vehicle. This vehicle is like king customization. If you like vehicles, they got a lot of customization or just a lot of stuff you can do to it, a lot of different iterations. This is definitely a vehicle you want to pick up. This vehicle has insane amount of customization. As far as mines, I really don't know what I was going for with no cap. This is actually really ugly now that I look at it, but I don't plan on changing it. It's all right, but like I said, it definitely is a top tier customization vehicle if you like customization in this game. Next, we got the GB200. I know for a fact I didn't do nothing to this. This is one of them vehicles I think I won on the podium by accident. It ain't really nothing special. I haven't never done nothing to it. Don't plan on doing nothing to it. And it ain't that good of a car. I was actually pissed off when I won this in the podium. I wasn't even trying to win this and I ended up getting it. So that's just that is going to collect dust. I don't ever really plan on changing. But moving on, bro, we got the Cypher, the Ubermark Cypher. I actually like this vehicle. I don't really drive it that much. I think it's based off some type of like BMW. But this is definitely a pleasant surprise. I really like the way I customized this bad boy. This bad boy look nice. But that's the Ubermark Cypher. Nothing really crazy. I don't really drive it too much. And after that, man, we got the Gunley Classic Custom. This is a weird vehicle. I really don't know what place this need to be in in this game, but I got it. It ain't all that, but it's there. Then after that, we got the Vector. Ain't nothing to it. Then we got the Tiger. Now, this vehicle, I don't know why I picked this up. I literally picked this up because this was like the super cop poster boy for the Southern San Andreas, whatever, summer special DLC or whatever. But in reality, this car ugly as fuck. I just got to be absolutely honest with you. This car, this car is absolutely garbage. Like, now that I look at it, this shit is ass. All right, gang. So we over here at the Del Perro Apartments, gang. And these are the vehicles that we got up in here. So to start off the Del Perro Apartments, brother, we got the Tesseract. This was a vehicle that when it first came out, I loved this vehicle. This vehicle was such a unique looking vehicle to me. I thought it was dope as shit, bro. But you'll never really see this like that no more. But I'm still glad I got mines in my collection. No cap. It's still one of the most interesting looking cars. I definitely love the wheels on this bad boy when it came out, man. But the Tesseract is cool. I'm glad I still got it. Next, we got one of the best looking vehicles in the game. The Pegasi Tempesta. I still love this vehicle to this day. And I can't believe how realistic this car looked to the actual Huracan. That's this based off of in real life. I don't know how Rockstar got away with making this one look damn near identical to the real life counterpart, but I love this car. The fun fact about this car, I didn't change this car color so many times. It went from yellow to black to red to all type of stuff, and now I just kind of got it in like this like dark gray. I really like it like that, and maybe I end up changing this some more because I just keep changing the color of this car, but for now, I really like it looking like that. Then we got the T20. This car holds a special place in my heart, bro, no cap. And fun fact about this vehicle is this vehicle is pretty much identical exactly to a T to how I had it over there on Xbox 360 and shit like that. If y'all don't know, this is one of the last vehicles that came out during the 360 era and shit like that. And I made this car look exactly identical 
to the one over there on 360. It's crazy because back on 360, I had like a fetish, I guess I would say, with white and race yellow cars. I don't know why I make so many cars white and race yellow. I don't know why that combination of colors just stuck with me, but it did, and I just had to pay homage to my T20 game. So that's why I look like that. Definitely one of my most favorite vehicles in the game. I love McLarens in real life, and the McLaren P1 is one. So that's why I look like that, man. Kind of on homage to my favorite cars, you know, in the world, and just the way it looked it on 360. And after that, brother, we got the XA21. This car is beautiful. I still love this car to this day. My favorite thing about this whole entire vehicle, man, is that red inside. I don't know why the red inside with the color scheme on this car just looks so fucking good. But this car right here is nice. I would love to see this car in GT6, no cap. Then we got us an F1 vehicle, man. We got the BRA. I only got this car because it's fast. To be honest, the BRA is ugly as fuck. I can't even lie to you. Then next, I got two bikes. I kind of got like this little mountain bike right here. And then I kind of got like this little racer bike. I think I ended up getting these because I was messing around with some homies. Or maybe one day I was just bored and I just wanted to mess around with some bikes in the game. Probably that's why I got them. I really don't know why I got them or when I got them, but I got them. They here, but you know, two bikes. Woo -woo. Then after that, we got the Gradivision. All right, next game, we got the Overfly Tyrant, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. The main reason I love this car right here so much is the fact that it's huge. This is one of the largest cars in the game. And the fact that this is a supercar is insane. This car is literally literally the dude that your girlfriend tell you not to worry about the whole time he around this bitch breaking your girlfriend back in around this bitch brother but i love this car but definitely i will say the fact that this car is huge is a major plus for me it's just crazy how big this car is for a supercar then next we got the fist 811 the cold part is these white parts like all the white parts on the car supposed to be chrome and i never unlocked the chrome but i never actually went out my way to get it customized to chrome when the auto shop stuff came out so it's just still white and um, black and white but i probably will go out my way to make all the yellow all the white parts chrome in the future no cap then next we got the bump the dominator gx i think that's what this is the gtx i ain't gonna lie to you i don't know how i feel about this vehicle this vehicle right here is so weird it's like it got too much going on like it's like on one end it like you want like a charger then on the other end it like you want like a mustang like it just got too much going on for me i really can't explain this vehicle i just know i got it i do like the color scheme is kind of like off-putting kind of the same way the car is but eh, i really can't explain this car this car is kind of weird to be honest i don't know if i would have bought this car today like i did back then back then i just picked it up today i don't even think this car would even picked up now then last but not least for this garage we got the karuma it's just a karuma i never customized it never did nothing to it to be honest my favorite karuma has always been the black on black mad black just look all the way blacked out it's just to me it's just no other better look at Karuma for me. Like, don't get me wrong, I just seen some fire Karumas. Karumas, armor Karumas are some of the most unique, like, cars you can see because it's so many different ways people customize them. But for me, I just like the black on black, no cap. All right, so moving on over to my biker clubhouse, brother. We got the Sanchez. I remember the day I picked this up. I literally just picked this up one day because I was bored in GTA Online and I wanted to go off road So I ended up just picking this bad boy up and keeping it, no cap. Then next, we got literally one of the best vehicles in the game, bro, the Hakuchu Drag. The fastest bike in the game with HSW. One of the fastest vehicles in the game with HSW. Crazy ass car. One thing I love, always loved about this damn bike is the fact that this wheel is elongated. Like, the wheel is longer than the actual, like, frame of the bike. I always liked it that look when it came down to motorcycles in this game, bro. And it's definitely one of them vehicles you definitely need to have. Then after that, bro, we got the Street Blazer. Nothing really special about this. I really just got this bad boy because it's so easy to do wheelies on this bitch for real, for real. It's a nice looking ATV or whatever. And we don't really get a lot of ATVs in the game. But the main reason you get this if you just want to pop wheelies and look cool, no cap. Then we got us another infamous bike man the body 801 if you know you know if you've been playing detail line a long time you know for a fact this bike that probably got through got you through plenty of time trials helped you out with plenty of missions it's been there for you this bike right here definitely gonna go in like gta hall of fame when it's all said and done at least gta 5 hall of fame when it's all said and done then we moving over to the ruffian fun fact about this bike is this bike is the very first vehicle i had on this character right here and i still got this bike this is my very first vehicle that i ever had 
on this character, this damn ruffian, man. I ain't picking up this bike because I always thought like, hey, if I want the very first vehicle, I want a bike because it's nimble, it's fast, I can weave through traffic. I just feel like it can just make me money faster than having a car doing all that crashing and shit. So that's why I picked it up. And it's crazy that I still got it, man. It's actually really nostalgic that I still got it. This bike got me through a whole fucking lot. I can't even lie to you, man. It's just funny that I still got this bitch. Next, I got a vehicle that you never really see nobody have. I don't even know how many people own this, but it's the Rampant Rocket. I really just picked it up because look at it. It's unique as shit, and I notice every time I pull out with this bad boy, this bad boy always catch eyes, and people always end up looking at it like, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't even know how many people know about this damn bike in the goddamn game. I think Jerry Leto or somebody like had this in real life, and I guess Rockstar just added it, but it's a crazy ass motherfucking bike, and it got some wild liveries on this bitch, no bullshit. Then next we got the Sanctus. I actually won this in the podium, off the podium wheel one time, podium wheel um, in the casino. I actually won this, so that's how I got there. I don't know why I made it all chrome. I don't know if I was on some trolling shit or I legit just thought that was tight, but that's that, bro. The, the damn Sanctus. It's a dope ass bike, though. Definitely one of the most unique vehicles in the game through and through. Then we got the LCC Hexer. Just a vehicle. I just wanted a chopper looking bike and I just picked this up. It's really nothing special. I just kind of wanted to be on some like chopper bike boy shit one time. On some, I guess, role playing type shit and I just picked this one up. And then, of course, I got my Oppressor Mark 1. The fun I used to have on this vehicle back in the day before the Oppressor Mark 2. But we all know when this this vehicle came out this vehicle man I, you never would have thought rockstar would have added a mark ii version to this shit right here but they did but i ain't gonna lie to you i had a lot of fun on this goddamn bike right here just messing around flying around trying to do little cool tricks and all that shit i definitely had a lot of fun with this bike back in the day so as far as my nightclub entrance go i got the night shark I just put this right here. I never drive the Night Shark. If you know me, you know I got a major hate hate relationship with this vehicle. I hate this vehicle so goddamn much. I hate it in free mode. I hate the motherfuckers that use it. I just hate this motherfucking vehicle. No cap, bro. So I don't never really touch this. This bad boy just sit in this bitch and collect dust for all I give a damn. I hate this damn car. Alright gang, so I don't even know if I should even show this, but since it's in the garage, I'm gonna just do it. But it's really nothing but the delivery vehicles, man. We got the Phantom Custom, we got the Mule Custom, I think it's called, no, it's the Pounder Custom. The Pounder Custom, the Mule Custom, and the Speedo Custom. This really just all the nightclub delivery vehicles. If you know, you know. Ain't nothing really unique about none of them except for this one. I kind of put the red with the black and just some lowrider wheels on it. Nothing really crazy though. Just the delivery vehicles. All right, next, brody, we got the Trafade Nero, a.k.a. the Bugatti Chiron. Love this vehicle, brody, believe it or not. A lot of people don't like the Nero Custom or whatever, but I actually do. I don't mind it. I think it's nice. I tried to make it like, like the original Chiron. I don't know how good I did, but I really do love the look of this vehicle. Next, we got the Deve State 8. Definitely one of the weirder looking cars in the game. Like, every time I look at this car, especially from, like, this side angle, this car always reminds me of, like, a half-empty two-paste um, tube or something like that. It's like this part of the flat part and then up here with this bump and it's kind of like wow the toothpaste and it just look weird another thing i would say about this car is this right here this game had nitrous i feel like these two big ass exhaust things would shine like in gta 6 this car making the gta 6 i really do hope we had like nitrous or like we really get to see like crazy fire come out of these because that would have made this car dope if it had that touch on it no bullshit next up we got the gp1 aka the mclaren f1 it's a mclaren i love mclaren I don't know why I got this secondary color on there though. Like now that I look at it, the secondary color is ugly. But it's here, it's there. I like the car, but I'll probably change the secondary color in the future. Here we go, bro. The Zentorno. This is Zentorno, one of the most coveted vehicles in the game. This is another GTA Hall of Fame candidate right here. This is Zentorno. It's red, it's yellow, it's beautiful. One of the best looking cars to the game still to this day. And you can't go wrong with it. I legit think every single person that plays GTA Online need to have this car in their collection to some extent. Then next, we got the Fist of Neon, a Fodo electric Porsche. And to be honest, that's all it really is. It ain't really nothing that special. Next, we got the Eurus, aka the Lambo truck, aka the Tauros in this game, buddy. It's just a Eurus. It looked nice. Definitely one of the best SUVs in the game. Best look SUVs in the game as well. I'm just waiting on the bad boy rival to drop, man. The track off. Like, Rockstar, we still need that track off in the game to this day, gang. Like, go ahead and give us that track off. Stop bullshitting. And I hope the track off burn this little motherfucker right here. I need this motherfucker gapping this bitch by 80 million years. 
is. No bullshit, man. But the year is definitely a dope vehicle. I definitely enjoy mine. I definitely drive the fuck out of it whenever I get the chance. Next, we got the Turismo Classic. I actually end up winning this off the podium. Nothing really special about it. I really don't even like this car. If I didn't win it on the podium, I probably would never even have it. Next, we got the Torero. Yeah, we got the Pegasi Torero. I literally bought this car because of Vice City vibes, to be honest. That's the only reason I bought it. It's a Vice City style vehicle. To be honest, I actually need to make it white, to be real. I feel like the white version is a lot more Vice City esque than the yellow version. But that's the reason I got this car, just all some Vice City type shit. This is another vehicle I never really see that much of no more, man. But I remember when this car first came out, the Shice the Deviant. I thought this car was beautiful, no cap, man. Still to this day, it's a beautiful muscle car. It's just, I think the handling on it not really that good or something like that. I haven't drove this car in Lord knows how long. Maybe I'll pull this bad boy out for a video or something soon. But this is um, the Shice the Deviant, right? Yeah, the Shice the Deviant, a nice looking car. But I think what held it back was the handling. I think the handling on here is dookie. Then y'all know I had to throw in a little low rider, man. To be honest, the Buccaneer Custom, which this is, is probably the best looking low rider car to me overall and i just love the customizations i did to this car this is one of my most beautiful customized cars in the whole entire game man i really do love this bad boy and i know for a fact anytime i want to be on some old school snoop dog dr dre pimp daddy type shit i pull this bitch out asap rocky no cap i love this car all right next birdie we got a couple of like movie s style cars at least the next three are like movie s style cars if you don't know this is supposed to be dumb cop fast and the fears i do know like the gray parts supposed to be chrome or whatever but like i said back then i didn't have chrome a lot so i kind of like put these little colors as like filler colors and i just never changed until this day like i probably will go out my way to change these colors to make them look exactly like how they was in the movies or whatever. But this the dumb, the dumb challenger for Fast and the Furious. Definitely a nice looking vehicle, but definitely something that I don't drive. And like I said, I do know it's supposed to be chrome, but back then I didn't have no way to put chrome on this, so I kind of just put this as a filler color until I was able to actually get the chrome. But now that I'm able to get the chrome, I just never changed. Then we got the Nightshade, AKA my 21st Jump Street car. This car definitely is supposed to be like centered at the 21st dump, Jump Street. And I think, yeah, it got a 21st Jump Street like actual tag on the back. Like I said, back in the day, I was really trying to like go crazy making like movie style cars and shit. And I would kind of like, you know, name the person or the movie or whatever, or the, you know, the inspiration of the car on the license plate. That's the type of shit I was doing. Did I do it for the dumb car? I didn't do it for the dumb car. I just say almighty on the back. Next, we got the Gone in 60 Second Special. Eleanor, beautiful vehicle. I love this car. I pull this car out all the time. Y'all probably seen this car in a couple of fucking videos of mine. It literally say Eleanor on the back. That's crazy. <laughs> it literally say Eleanor on the back, but I love this car, man. The old school Mustang. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vehicle, and I'm glad I got it. All right, gang, this car right here not based on no movies or nothing like that. This is the, the Class A Stallion. It's not based off anything. It's just a car that I picked up because I knew it was in GTA 4. I actually had this car a really long time, and I don't think I ever drove it no more like twice. But I picked it up because I remember it being in GTA 4. It was like one of the doper vehicles in GTA 4 back then, and I just picked it up, customized it, and just let it hit, just let it sit here ever since. Like I said, I probably drove this car twice, maybe twice. Like, I don't even think I drove it twice. I think I drove it one time to customize it, and now I ain't never picked it, picked it out again. But like I said, I did it because it's GTA 4 vibes. Then we got the Bugatti Adder, or the Adder, the Trufati Adder, or whatever like that. It's an Adder. You know what I'm saying? Another one of the vehicles that I feel like every GTA Online player should own or should have owned to some extent, especially if you're OG. Like I said, I don't know why I got the yellow rims or whatever, but I did. I was trying to go for black and yellow vibes, and I guess I went all in even on the rims buddy but the adder i think it's a vehicle everybody should own so you know in some way then we got this entity xl i don't really like this car hence is why i never customized it i love coney said vehicles but this one I really don't care nothing about this. And it's crazy because out of all the Coney said vehicles, I think this is the one that handles the best out of each and every last one that they added to the game. This might be the best handling Coney said vehicles out of all the Coney said vehicles, but I don't really like it. Hence is why I never even customized it. It just sat here and collected dust. I don't even think I paid for this, to be honest. I, don't, I actually don't know how I got this damn car. Next, we got the Windsor Drop, aka the Rolls Royce. I just picked it up on some fancy shit, to be honest. That's pretty much the only backstory to this. Then we got the R-Tarch. I don't like this vehicle at all. I actually think it's super ugly. I ended up winning this on the podium. That's how I ended up getting it. And I ended up just customizing it just because. And it's just been sitting here. One thing about me is if I don't like a vehicle, I'm not going to pick it up. But a lot of these vehicles that I don't like, 
I either picked it up for like vi video reasons or I just won it in the damn podium wheel or won it in some way and I end up just keeping it, man, because it ain't no point of selling it. But I really, I really don't like this vehicle like that. I really truly don't. So moving on over to my casino penthouse garage, brody. We got the Paragon R Armored Car. One thing about this car is you can get this car completely free. All you got to do is just complete the casino storyline, man. But at least for this car, again, it's another one of them Bentleys. Again, Rockstar do a good job at Bentleys. And I, like I said, I don't know what their fixation is with having every Bentley in the game be armored, but they do. I just got it all black with the pinstripe livery on it. I think it looks nice. Those are nice looking Bentley in my opinion. Then next, we got a car that I don't never see people talk about or use at all in detail line, which is the Visor Neo or the Visor Neo, or however you say that word. But it's a dope car. I remember when this car first came out, I thought this car was sick, but I don't never really drive it. I haven't drove it in years, to be honest. And I don't never really see nobody use this car at all. I don't know why. It's a nice looking car, but I don't never see nobody pull it out for car meets or any of that. It's just, it's just one of them cars that's kind of forgotten. I think it's the only Visor vehicle in the game, too. I think it's like a one of one car that you can't get no more, at least right off the website. Then next, we got another one of my most favorite cars in the game, man, the Gunley Classic. Ain't this the Gunley Classic? Yeah, the Bravado Gunley Classic, Brody. I love this car. It kind of give me like little Dukes of Hazard vibes a little bit, even though I know this is not the Dukes of Hazard car. It just give me little Dukes of Hazard vibe, man. But I love this car. Definitely one of my most favorite cars in the game. Definitely one of my most favorite classic cars in the game as well. Then over here, we got the Zeruso, all gold out, nothing crazy. I like the look of the car. But it's definitely one of them cars that kind of fell off immediately as soon as it was released, though. But I do still like the look of the cars. One of the better looking cars in the game. Then we got the Karen Everon. I got a cold version of this car over there on PlayStation. But again, y'all know I love me some trucks. So I had to get me this bad boy. Put the off-road tires on there. The red. Like I said, you're going to see a bunch of red. And just all that. I actually really like this vehicle. It ain't my favorite truck in the game. But I do like this bad boy. But the one I got over there on PlayStation is insane. I love the one that I got over there on PlayStation. It's crazy. Then next, we got the Project Emirates, which is based off the McLaren Center. And it's crazy because the McLaren Center in real life is ugly as shit. And it's like Rockstar took that car and made it ugly. I don't know what they was going for when they made this or what they was doing or... I don't know if they were just like, let's find a way to make the McLaren Center even more ass than it is in real life. But this is the Emirates. I didn't really change nothing. I tried to make it look like the original, like McLaren Center with the blue and stuff like that. That was the goal, but man, it's a ugly ass vehicle. Next, we got my AMG One, AKA the Benefactor Creeper with the Sasante Nova livery. I kind of like this vehicle, man. This vehicle at one point was like the fastest vehicle in the game. I think it was like a duel between both of these two cars. I think at one point, both of these two cars was like the top two supercars in the game, man. And everybody was driving this bad boy, like stunt races and all that. The Krieger for sure had a huge little influx of like races and stuff when it released. People was going crazy when this car came out. But I'm glad I got it in my, um, in my what's the name, in my collection or whatever. I can see this being in GTA 6 as well. I don't see why they wouldn't put this bad boy in GTA 6. Maybe later on down the line they'll release it. But I can see this being in GTA 6 story mode for sure, for sure. Gang, I'm going to tell y'all right now. With these next three cars, I ain't beat no allegations. I'm just going to be real with you. It ain't nothing but three hellfires back to back to back. No bullshit. And to start out with the first hellfire, man, this one is kind of like my personal customized hellfire game. This is just one that I did myself. Like, I wasn't inspired by nothing or any of that. Just Black, red, beautiful, hellfire goodness, brother. I just went on ahead and put delivery up on top. It's not inspired by anything. I just did it because I thought it looked nice. But that's Hellcat number one. Moving on to Hellcat number two. We got my Fast and the Furious Letty style Hellcat, man. If y'all don't know, this is based off the Letty Hellcat and Fast and the Furious. I want to say six. I think it's Fast and the Furious 6. Fast 6 or whatever they called it. You know, it's like a billion Fast and the Furious ones. But this is basically it. You can see I got the Lady lady license plate on the back and all that, man. But I do like this car. I don't really don't care for the spoiler. But that's the style of spoiler she had in the movie. And she got the bull balls on the front. I really am glad Rockstar gave us the potential to actually make this car in the game. It's definitely one of my favorite vehicles to, to pull out every now and then. And like brand the car shows or just drive around in. Because people be like, damn, that boy got that Lady motherfucker like you. Yeah, but they motherfucking too hard, though. I like Then next with this one, I just tried to make this look like a classic, like, Hellfire Red Eye type 
with the gray, the black. It just overall look good, man. I was going for like a red eye look. Got the almighty plate on the back. Just going for like a little classic red eye look. Nothing really crazy. The only thing I will say I don't like about the Gunly Hellfire in this game is the fact that the customization on it is ass. Like, we get bare minimum. Like, little to no customization at all for these cars, man. But I definitely hope in GTA 6 we going to get way more customization. I hope they allow us to put the, like, the two, like, the hood. They got, like, the two, like, vents on, like, one vent, two vent that look like tubes on the car. I really hope that we do that, that we get that, man. I hope we get a lot more customization when it come down to the Gunlet Hellfire and stuff like that in GTA 6 because we know it's going to be in GTA 6 because we've seen it in the trailer and stuff, but we'll just have to wait and see, man. But that's that for this garage. On to the next one, gang. All right, gang. I ain't going to even much lie to y'all, bro. This is like a uh, part two of the recording of the very first office garage part so that first half was another recording this is a brand new recording because i ain't gonna lie i was recording that as soon as i just got out work and i was tired gang but we continue it with the poorly lit uh what is this this is the arcade garage gang so in the arcade garage man we're gonna start off with the dinka what is this the dinka Vito barter aka the go-kart man nothing really special just a go-kart i will tell you something like this though we need to utilize these more in like GTA Online. I don't know, maybe I'll do something that requires the go kart in like a stream or something. That'll be fun. Then we got us the Donk Brody, the um, Faction Custom Donk, AKA the Box Chevy on 30 foes. Another hood classic, bro. One of them cars that if you're from the block or if you ever been in like that type of area, this right here mean a lot to you, gang. I don't know why I chose to put this cherry pop of liver on it, but I like the car, man, it's cool. Then next we got the, the Lifeguard ATV. Nothing really special, man, just the Lifeguard ATV. We got the PR4 F1 vehicle. To be honest, for me personally, the reason why I got this one is because it's the best looking F1 car in the whole entire game. It's not the fastest, but it's definitely the best looking game. Then after that, we got the Furia, which for me, I don't know how to feel about this car. This car is kind of like one of them cars in GTA Online that just I don't really feel like it fit, especially because we got the RSX. I don't know. It's like the RSX and the Virtue or the Theory is like the exact same car to me. And I feel like this one is a little less needed in GTA Online. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it next, though. But then we got the Nagasaki Strider, right? Yeah, the Nagasaki Strider, a.k.a. another three-wheel motorcycle, man. The thing about three-wheel cars in this game is they handle like shit. But that's the Nagasaki Strider. Then we move on over here. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I do not know why this is in here. This shouldn't be in this garage, but it's over here. But it's the Deluxo, a.k.a. the DeLorean. This is the Deluxo. It's the DeLorean. It looked nice. It looked exactly like a DeLorean, too. Like, they did a good job when they made this, but it's just a deluxe. So then right here, we got another one of them vehicles that I ended up winning on a podium vehicle, but I never actually customized or did anything with, which is, this is the Tropos Rally. I never customized it, never planned on customizing. Don't really like this car that much. Don't think nothing about it is nice at all. I Like I said, if I didn't win it on the podium, I would have never had this car, to be honest. All right, gang, so moving over to the newest property that was just added into GTA Online, the Bear Office. And to start this bad boy off, brother, we got the bottom dollar bounty van, man. It's nothing really special. I don't even know if I should show this, but it's a bounty van. You can't really do nothing customer-wise, customization-wise to it, except change the actual color. But I never did that. And I'm going to go ahead and be honest. We all know how we feel about this side thing right here. This is garbage, and I hate it. I'm just being honest with you. And the only other vehicle I got in here is the Naomi, a.k.a. the BMW i8. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I really do love this car. I really do think Rockstar did a good job on this car. I do believe that this is a vehicle that we 100% guarantee, 100% confirm. Go see in GTA 6. I don't see why we wouldn't see it because I think the details, especially on the interior of this car, it's a lot more fleshed out, a lot more detailed than a lot of the older cars that we got over the years, man. So I do believe we're going to end up seeing this car in GTA 6. But I kind of got it. I kind of made it look like the original white on blue theme or whatever back in the day when it first came out. And that's just that, man. That's the IA. I definitely think a lot of people like this car. And I definitely like it. And I do believe we're going to see it in GTA 6. All right, so moving over to the agency. It's a lot of cars in this place. So I'm kind of going to be speeding through this one kind of fast. But to start it off, man, we got, to be honest, I don't even know if I should show y'all this, but we got this Range Rover thing right here. It's really one of the cars you just, that just come with the damn place. You know what I'm saying? It's just the 
the the company vehicle, I guess. Then we got my personal Buffalo STX. One of my most favorite cars in the game. Love the customization I did with this thing. Even though it's plain, I really do like it. Obviously, Franklin is here. Moving on downstairs, I got my Fiesta Astron. I think this is an HSW vehicle, no cap. We got this Camila Lampadati Quinn Lamila. I don't know what how to name this car. And to be honest, I really don't even understand why I ever bought this car. I think I bought this car strictly because I was on YouTube and I just was like streaming this update and I ended up just buying it just to buy it just to show it off. Because this is one of them cars I never drive and I don't even understand why I got it. I don't even like this car. This car kind of trash to me, to be honest. It's like an old man car. But next we got the Ignis. It's the Ignis. Super fast, super dope. I think this is based off like what? The newer Lambos? One of the newer Lambos that just came out recently or whatever. But I like it. It's definitely a nice car, whatever. Glad to have it. Again, another Rolls Royce truck. Actually, my own personal Rolls Royce truck. I love this car though, man. The look of the Rolls Royce truck is so nice to me. I definitely do love it. Then we got the Denton. We got the Deity. The Enos Deity. Another Bentley. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Rockstar, they always make the Bentleys in this game look good. And they always end up finding some way to armor them. They always make every Bentley in this game armored to some extent, man. But that's the Deity right there. Next, we got the Champion. Another car that I never really see a lot of people drive around or be in. But we got the Champion, a.k.a. the Dr. Dre car. If you're nasty, if you want to look at it like that. Definitely a nice looking vehicle. Another one of the vehicles that got any money tech and stuff like that. But you never really see people driving it like that. And next we got the Baller ST. Another Range Rover. What's the name? I think I ended up picking this up because it was free for everybody. But I never customized it. And to be honest, I don't really plan on customizing it. Next we got the Xeno. A very weird looking car. I would definitely say so myself. One thing about this car is this car sits so goddamn low. Like look, I can literally walk on top of this car in my garage because it sits so low. But this car... I literally bump into it, hit every bump on the road, man. So that's why I, I know probably that's the reason why a lot of people don't drive it. But it's an all right car, whatever. I don't think it handled that good because of all the bumps and shit. But it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. Then we got the big boy, the Patriot Mill spec. Ah, oh, it's dope. I can see this being a GTA 6 as like a military truck or, you know what I'm saying, things that the military use. If you go to the military base or something like that, I can see that being there. Uh, then we got the Comet S2 Cabrio. Not really much to say about it. It's another Porsche, and it's just the Cabrio version of the Comet S2 that we got, I think, in the Tuna's update, right? Moving on to my Nagasaki Naomi. This is one of my favorite looking bikes in this whole entire game. This bike is beautiful, man. I love the customization with the shark teeth and the camo stuff on there. I really do like this bike, man. This bike don't get driven enough by me, man, because I don't think it's, like I said, it's not one of the best bikes in the game as far as performance, but it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful bike. I love the look of this bike. Then we got the Western Reaver. Definitely a futuristic style bike. I think this bike is Cyberpunk, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think that's Jacket Bike or some form of it in some way that you can get in Cyberpunk 2077 if any of y'all played that game. Then we got the Bravado Greenwood. I don't know. Is it the Bravado Greenwood? Yeah, Bravado Greenwood. I don't know why I bought this. I think it was just one of the things again, it just came out in an update and I just purchased it, but I don't know a drive it. It ain't really all that nice to me. It's a nice, I mean, it's nice. It's an alright looking old school car. I know we got the new police car variant of it too, but it ain't all that to me. But moving on to a car that actually look nice, man, the Ocelot Virtue. This is the version that you get for free. If you don't know, if you finish the whole entire first dose and last dose storyline, you can end up picking this car for free, man. So that make, that make this car definitely worth it. It's one of the best immunity vehicles in the game. And the fact that you can get this bad boy totally free is definitely worth this to pick this up, man. And it look nice, and it's like one of the quicker electric vehicles in the game, being it's an electric supercar, bro. I fuck with it. This is a nice looking ass car. And next, we got the Gauntlet Hellfire. I don't know why, but for me, I feel like the best way to make the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor look the sleekest, the best, is to just make it all black. The all black Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor is just beautiful to me. Then I got it with the Benny's wheels down there. I noticed something. A lot of my cars over here on Xbox got these like, same like star Benny's wheels. I don't know why they like that. I don't know why that's just the wheels that I didn't prioritize or whatever, but I like the look of it, bro. It's a nice little you know, like, nice little cop car. I don't really plan on buying too many more cop cars unless Rockstar come out with, like, some real fly, fly cop cars because the cop cars is way too expensive. But that's my Gunner Interceptor. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? Best cop car in the game for sure. Then we got another newer vehicle, man. The E-Nuts Paragon. Another modded car with the Star Wheels that I got. 
Nothing, nothing really crazy. I do like this blue that's on here though. Like I said, I ended up just buying this car like this, so I don't know what exact blue that is, but it's a nice blue. All right, so we made it over to the auto shop, Birdie, and pretty much all these cars, I think literally every car except one is all the cars that was released with the Auto Shop DLC themselves, man. So to start this bad boy, we got my Dominator GTT. Nice little, kind of like old school tie style Mustang. I really do like this car. This is one of my favorite cars that was released with this DLC. And we got my Anish Euros. Don't really like the look of this car that much. I feel like Rockstar could have made it look a little bit better, but that's that. Moving on over to the RZR350. Now, this is like the only vehicle in the whole entire game that I decided to put like this little Amine stuff on here. Princess Bubblegum, if you know, you know. But I did this because I felt like I needed a car that had like some little Amine inspired livery on it or whatever. So I ended up just putting this on there. But the crazy part is I actually ended up liking the way it came out. This is actually one of my favorite cars in this garage as far as like the looks and color scheme and all that go. But I don't ever really drive it like that though. But it is, a, it is a nice car. Then we got the Calico, one of the best tuna vehicles that came out. I love the red wheels on this bad boy, man. That shit was sick to me. Then moving over here to my tailgater, AKA the Sasanta car. Cause I think Sasanta got this exact same car. I really do like it. Like the customizations that I did. Like that blue that I put on there. I think it's the same blue that's on my Nuts Paragon S that we just looked at. But it's a nice looking car, man. I love how I put the, you know, put that black up on there. I ain't up like the older I got, black wheels just became a thing for me. Like I just love black wheels on my cars now like and today in society i just love black wheels on my car i feel like you just can't go wrong with black rims but that's my tailgater s i got the little side plate over there that say almighty clean as hell moving on to a vehicle i don't really see that much and i'm shocked i still even got this myself but this is the penumbra yeah the penumbra ff Definitely a nice looking like tuna style looking vehicle. That's the reason why I put this in here. They didn't come out with the tuna's um, update, but it's a nice little tuna style car. I ended up putting like the little cherry blossom livery on it. Kind of gave it like this little pinkish type color to kind of go with it, vibe out with it. It's a nice looking car though. I should try this in a video or something or like use it in some missions or something like that. I definitely end up whipping this back out because this is actually a nice car. I actually really like this. Then we got the Warner. Nothing really special about it. It's just a truck. Then moving on over to the, who this, what this is, the Remus. Oh, the Remus with this livery on it. Now, this is another car. I don't understand why I really picked it up. It ain't that I don't like it. I just don't really see myself really putting a lot of time with this car. I think I just picked it up because I do like it, and that's pretty much it. I just picked it up just because I like it, customize it, and don't really plan on using it no more. Then next, we got my normal Fista Comet S2, just the normal version without the Cabrio or whatever. I really do like the way I customize this. This is a nice little customization that I threw up on there. Again, got red wheels, stuff like that. It's clean. It's clean. You know what I'm saying? Them tins, them tins, but I keep them clean. Then next, we're moving on over to my Bumblebee-inspired ASP. Definitely one of my favorite vehicles in the game as well. Definitely one of my favorite vehicles in this whole entire garage, man. Nice Mustang vibes. Definitely got just classic Mustang vibes, bro. It just look good. And I just went for the, the yellow and the black, kind of just on some Bumblebee shit. I think before I changed it to this, it was like blue and white. And I ended up just like, you know what? We're going to go Bumblebee vibes on it. So that's why I ended up going with it, man. But I really do like this car. It's a nice vehicle. All right, so we over here to my vehicle warehouse garage. I really don't know if I need to show y'all any of these, but I seen other people in their garage still doing it. So I'm going to do it as well. It ain't that many cars in here neither, man. So we got my Ruiner. What is this? My Ruiner 2000? I think it's the Ruiner 2000, 3000, something like that. AKA one of the most expensive vehicles in the game, man. This vehicle is like $5 million, buddy. And I don't think I ever customized it. I think I bought it, used it for like them, them you know, the specific Ruin the 2000 missions, 3000 missions, and I never really customized. I really didn't see no reason into it, to be honest. But I spent $5 million on this bad boy just to not customize it. It's crazy. Let's start there. Then we got the vehicle that started off all this rocket propelled vehicle shit, the Tesla Rose, the AKA, the Core Voltage, with the damn rocket thing on the back, man. I don't never really see too many people drive this car, except for Tech. Tech, the only somebody I see still drive this car to this day. But other than that, it ain't too many people people whipping the rocket bolt again you just don't see it at all that much then we got the big boy himself the phantom wedge it's the phantom it's the wedge a fun vehicle to push cars out of the game definitely useful if you do kaya preco a lot and you like to do the boat setup mission 
definitely something I recommend everybody in the game have. You need a Phantom Wedge. I wouldn't be shocked if we see this dumbass car in GTA 6, but I don't know if we gonna see it. But I wouldn't be mad if we seen this in GTA 6. It's just a wedge, it blow up in a rocket, and all it do is move cars out the way, man. But as you can tell, those are the only three cars in this spot right here, so moving on to the next garage. Next, we got another one of them vehicles or another one of these things that I don't think I need to show off, but I feel like somebody gonna ask me and be like, you didn't show it. So here go my Kasaka, it's nothing special, it's just all red. You can only select a certain color on the Kasaka anyway, but this is the Kasaka right here, buddy. Here's an up close look at my Sparrow, just kind of like this dark blue midnight blue or midnight purple or some color on there i just kind of put this color on it just kind of be just dark but i didn't want it to be black and that's why i went with this color scheme right here but nothing special just my damn sparrow and next we got my visa stunt marine another one of them vehicles that i never really see nobody ever use i don't never see nobody in a submarine period but definitely this. I feel like if people are gonna go underwater, they're gonna go with the car that's behind this. But this it. I don't even know if you can customize this, to be honest. I think you can, but I don't even know if I ever did, to be honest. This might be stock, but I might have customized it. It's been so long ago. Then, like I see, man, right behind it, we got my Toreador, aka the Stromberg Killer itself. Like I said, nothing special. I went for like an olive greenish kind of color in black. I definitely like this car, you feel what I'm saying? Definitely one of the better vehicles in the game. But I hate like when Griefers use this car. Like I don't use this car myself as far as like fighting or PvP. But I do like this car, but I hate when other people use it for like PvP um, reasons or whatever. And for whatever reason, people love to use this car in God mode. Like I don't understand why like they end up making this car God mode where you can't blow it up and shit like that. And it just, it just annoys the shit out of me. But that's my tour you do if y'all wanted to see that, I guess. All right, so moving on over to my Doomsday facility game. Not a lot of cars in here, so it shouldn't take that long. We just got a couple of cars here and there in this garage. And to start off this garage, buddy, we got the Thruster. Again, one of them vehicles that don't really, you see too much, and I don't really fly myself. To be honest, man, the jetpack was cool, but once you fly, you realize it's kind of just a glorified helicopter in a way, like a glorified buzzard or some shit. And it, the coolness of it, Ain't really all that. I mean, I'm glad Rockstar added it to the game, especially with all the craziness that was surrounding jetpacks and the Mount Chiliad mirror. But to be honest, this vehicle is cool, but it's not that great at the same time. Moving on to the next vehicle, bro. We got my Stromberg. This is customized, by the way. I just left it white because I just think the Stromberg being white is just the best look for the vehicle. And, you know, the Stromberg is one of them cars they had this heyday, and then his little brother came out and turned out to be way better, and everybody just hopped on bro dick, and we just stayed over there ever since, game. But if you're an OG, I feel like you should have a strong bird. Because, no, this was the car back in the day. Like, this was the anti-griefers, like, most hated vehicle, because this was, like, the best car to go against the Oppressor Mark II back in the day, man. But now, it don't really see the light of day from nobody. We done all switched up on this damn car. Next, we got my APC. Nothing really special. I don't got the Santa on top because you can't really use the Sam Turner solo so I don't even bother with it but yeah that's the APC got the off-road tires on it which make it look dope though. I ain't gonna lie I do make it look dope that um, off-road tires but nothing really special next I got my Dinka versus ATV to be honest I only picked this car because it was free it was one of them free ATVs that we ended up getting for like Christmas or something like that. So I ended up picking one up. I remember back in the day, people had like a whole garage full of these damn things because they was free. At least nuclear did. I seen a couple of people have a whole garage of nothing but this damn car, which was wild to me. Then next, we got one of them vehicles that I, I just, oh my God, I wanted this vehicle to be so much better. Not saying that this vehicle is bad. Just it could have been better, but at the same time, if it was better, it might have been overpowered as fuck. But this is the Chernobog, Birdie. I like definitely the vehicle with the longest lock on range in the entire game. It shoot hella missiles, but you gotta stop to use it. And you gotta have another player controlling the missiles. It's just a whole bunch of shit that was wrong with this vehicle. And the fact that they can't take no more than just one explosion. One explosion blow this shit up and it's over with, man. But definitely something that I bought it because I thought it was going to be really good and then it turned out to not to be really good and it ended up kind of being like a huge disappointment for GTA as a whole. But I think I get it because, hey, if we didn't have it, if it didn't blow up or one explosion, everybody just ride around in this big motherfucker blowing everybody out the sky because it just locked on from 
heaven knows where, and it would kind of be ugly in GTA Online sessions if it was able to do what it should do and tank a lot of explosives. Next, we got the Kanjali tank. It's nothing really special about it. It's just a it's just a tank and it's Kanjali. Everybody still uses this car to this day. I literally be fighting these bitches in streams all the damn time, no cap. Now we over to the weaponized Tampa, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. I bought this vehicle strictly because I made a vehicle. I like the 10 most forgotten about vehicles or like 10 most vehicles that could have been better or something I did way back in the day. And I ended up buying this car because I knew this car was one of them cars that should have been in the video. But definitely a dope car, definitely something that should, you know what I'm saying, or should have been better. It should have been able to take more explosives or whatever. But I will say you can arm this bad boy to the teeth, man. They got like homing missiles in the front. You can put a gun on the back. If you want to, you can put like a mortar on the back of this. It drop proximity mines. Like this bad boy is a one-stop shop package, man. If, it bad, if this was able to tank some rockets, then this would be a bad member jammer. Again, it's probably just one of them cars that Rockstar kind of may blow up in one explosion because of balance reasons. They ain't want everybody just driving around in this thing all goddamn day. So I kind of understand, but I do wish we could have had some armor upgrades that made it at least tank three rockets maximum, maybe. I can see that, man. Three rockets, definitely, but definitely one of the most underrated, but most definitely, like, disappointed vehicles in the game, for sure. Then next, we got my weaponized Ignis. I end up going for this little chameleon paint because this came out when the whole chameleon paint thing came out and it's just like I just threw it up on here and to be honest it looked dope it made the car look all crystallized especially when you look at it from like back here it kind of look like crystals or something it's weird man but you know what I'm saying HSW I see this car a lot in like supercar HSW races and shit so people still utilize this at least for races but it's a nice looking car like I said it's just a regular ignis but with a minigun on top. Holy shit, gang. I almost forgot to show y'all my damn terabyte. When I was in the nightclub garage, I forgot to show y'all this. But this is my terabyte. Again, it's another one of them vehicles that I don't really know if I should show y'all because it's a service vehicle. But for those that want to see it, I do got it. It's right here. I don't know why I chose that ugly ass color for the wheels. I think that's bronze. I don't know why I decided to put bronze wheels on here. I don't know, Baby Joe was wilding back in his heyday. And then y'all all know, man, when it comes to the terabyte, at least for me, I keep my Oppressor Mark II in there. But when it comes to the terabyte, this bad boy houses the Oppressor Mark II, the granddaddy most hated vehicle in the whole entire game. The game that, uh, uh, the vehicle that a lot of people say single-handedly ruined GTA Online as we know it, the Oppressor Mark II, man. I do got one, it's right here. This only one I own. I don't plan on buying no more. This car is stupid. We all know how we feel about the Oppressor Mark II. Definitely a handy vehicle though when you grinding. I will give it this props. It definitely helps out when it's time to grind. But other than that, it just that's just what it is, Brody. Brody, last but certainly not least, Brody, the hangover. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all spent a lot of time in y'all hangover over the past couple of days messing around with the speed glitch or whatever. But I got a couple of vehicles in there. Again, I don't know how, if this like something I should be showing, but I seen other people showing it and I'm pretty sure like some airheads or like, you know, pilot people would love to see what kind of aircrafts I got, man. So I'ma just show them off. I started off, bro, we got the Hydra. I don't know why I got this up front. I just feel like this is such a nostalgic vehicle for me. Cause this is the vehicle that got me into like trying to learn how to fly jets and stuff. I think this is also the very first Vito vehicle that was ever added into the game too. But that's my Hydra. Next over here, I got the Savage Helicopter. Definitely a vehicle I see a lot more people use because of the cannons on there. The cannons on here is still really good after they nerfed the rest of the cannons and stuff like that in the game. But it ain't really nothing that I fly too much because this helicopter is heavy as shit. Like the physics of this helicopter is extremely heavy. I don't know why Rockstar made this damn helicopter so heavy. Again, I guess balance reasons, but this the Savage Helicopter, nothing really special about it as far as customization. Though. Next, I got my A-10 Warhog, AKA the B-11 Strike Force. Love the shark teeth that I put on here. Love the way the gun sounds when you shoot. Definitely a nice um jet. I feel like it should have uh, been a little bit better in the game as far as dog fighting and shit go. But I don't really do a whole lot of dog fighting. So to be honest, I'm probably just blowing smoke up your butt saying that it's ass. I ain't saying that it's ass, but I feel like it should be better. But I don't know. I don't really get into a lot of dog fights. And then when I do get into dog fights, I'm pretty trash at them anyway. So it really don't matter. But I do love this damn jet. This is one of my favorite jets in the whole entire game. No cap. Then I got my Mammoth Avenger. If you don't know, in that trash ass Southern San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, you was able to teleport your Avenger from your Doomsday facility to your hangar. So now I kind of just sit here 
here. It don't really, you know, I don't really use it too much or nothing like that. It just kind of sit here now, and I don't really plan on taking it out because it ain't bothering nobody. But this is that damn hanger. You know, this is a damn base on propellers, pretty much. But it's a beast. They added a bunch of different little things to it or whatever like that. It takes forever for this bitch to blow up. It's a damn adventure. If you know, then you know. And if you don't know, you need to do some research. And then as far as other planes, I got like this Cuban 8, 800 plane. Nothing really, nothing really crazy about it. It's just the Cuban 800. I think you, I think that come with this damn hangar to be honest, buddy. Then I got, I also have, I also have an, um, a pyro. I love this pyro, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, still fly the pyro to this day, but I love my pyro. I used to fly this shit all the damn time. And I got the cooler. Uh, let me just... I guess I'll just put this back there, I guess. We'll replace it with that. But yeah, I got the cooler back there. And I also have the Hunter that can go like right here, man. So these are the aircrafts that I got in the game. Nothing really crazy about them, you feel? I don't really buy a whole bunch, a bunch of aircrafts. Because I, like I said, I don't really spend a lot of time in the air. And I only bought the ones that I either thought was the dopest or could actually help me with making money in the game or keep me from getting griefed or whatever like that. That's the reason why I got the helicopters that I got. I don't even have to ride you over here on this character now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't even have the Raju jet over here on this character. Now, I for sure need to pick up the Raju for sure. But that's pretty much it, man, when it come down to my hangar um, personal vehicles and stuff like that. But, gang, this is pretty much the end of my Xbox character garage tour. If y'all like this bad boy, make sure y'all show some love by leaving a like, subscribing if you new. And like I said at the beginning of the video, man, if y'all want to see my PlayStation side of the world as far as, like, the you know, garage tour or whatever, man, let me know in the comment section or whatever like that. Let me know by leaving a like. Let me know just by showing love on this video and I definitely make the PlayStation Garage Tour sooner rather than later. No cap, man. But I had fun showing off my vehicles. Again, like I said, over here on my Xbox character, there's not a lot of new stuff going on because, like I said, when I got into PlayStation, I kind of just went full sale in the PlayStation. So this character don't really get a lot of love when it comes down to like new, 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 new stuff because this character ain't got as much money as I do over there it's on PlayStation 2. But I got some stuff over here. Hopefully you see something that you really like. Hopefully you got a garage that you kind of be like, I fuck with that garage right there. But like I said, ain't no organization to none of my garages. I just put shit where I want to put shit at and I just leave it there because I'm grown and I ain't got time to be trying to organize shit. As long as I know where the shit at, I'm cool with that game. But again, appreciate all y'all love and support. Appreciate y'all watching this video all the way to the end if you did. And like I always say, gang, y'all be easy to take care. And until the next one, gang, I'm up out this thing, man. Peace to the Middle East. I'm gone, buddy.